Hey everyone, Dante here with the Raging Geek again, and today we're going to take a look at the various Spider-Man figures from the Marvel Legends series by Hasbro. Um, these are fairly recent figures. Uh, I have two figures from the latest Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So we have the Spider-Man integrated suit. That's this one here. This is the one he pretty much wears for the majority of the movie. And then we have the black and gold suit here where if you saw the movie, there was a part where he first engaged Sandman and Electro black and gold suit that he had on when he did that. The series includes seven figures. Six of them make the character Armadillo in the Build-A-Figure tradition of the Marvel Legends series here. And uh, I also have, you know, I recently had picked up the latest PlayStation 5 Spider-Man Miles Morales game. And this is a Miles Morales Spider-Man figure. Uh, this is from the Gamerverse series. It's also part of the Armadillo Build-A-Figure series, though. But, um, you know, this is the video game likeness of Miles Morales' Spider-Man. So we're going to open these up, take a up-close look at all these figures. And I also have an older 2013 Black Symbiote Spider-Man figure here, and we're going to size them up together. Um, this is also an older Marvel Legends series figure and we're gonna compare them. So let's take a look. These are the latest Spider-Man figures from the Marvel Legends series by Hasbro. Okay, so where to begin? Let's start off with the integrated suit from the No Way Home movie. Really basic. It doesn't come with any of the armadillo uh, build-a-figure parts. The only accessories you do get are the two web slinging hands here that you can swap out with his fisted hands so th so this is the figure up close you know and being a spider-man figure they definitely give you a lot of flexibility with this figure um you know everything twists and moves so you can get the you know you can really demonstrate the agility and flexibility of spider-man so you can see how his arms kind of flex forward like that the, the ball joints in the shoulders they go out you know everything is like double jointed in a way where you know you get extra flexibility out of these figures thighs rotate and this is very similar to the 2013 marvel legends figures though i have to say the 2013 figure um seems just a bit taller and i would think for good reason i mean this is um this is more of a comic likeness of Spider-Man, where this is kind of more of a movie representation. So you can see Spider-Man kind of looking up at his elder here. You know, more of a mature Peter Parker, I would say, as opposed to this uh, high school Spider-Man. With this figure, I like the flexibility and the detail of the figure. One thing I noticed, though, you know, in comparison to the movie, the movie... Uh, Spider-Man's costume had a very gloss sheen to it. Um, this, if you can tell, has absolutely zero gloss or reflectiveness to it, which I'm not sure why they did that. Um, you know, it kind of takes away from the figure. I'm very tempted to spray this action figure with a gloss enamel, and, um, you know, I think I'm going to do that sometime later on. I think it would elevate this figure tremendously if it had a gloss finish to it, which it does not in its current state out of the box. But aside from that, I mean, this figure definitely has excellent flexibility. Um, let me see if I can do some sort of pose with this. Sorry, what do you want for short notice? But I'm web slinging. Woo! Definitely a lot of weird poses you can put this in. Okay, so. Miles Morales from the Spider-Man game. Also another figure where I feel, you know, it definitely does not have, the outfit doesn't have the gloss it should. Um, it's, you know, from the comic books and the, and the game, you know, this outfit should, def should definitely be a lot shinier. 
very dull out of the box one thing I have to say you know if you're into toy photography this figure has a lot of accessories which is pretty cool it comes with the one of the armadillo build a figure parts um, the right leg and um, you know it comes with a, a changeable head here which I have to say is really on there tight so you get the extra head um, he comes with two different sets of hands so out of the box he comes with his web, uh, web shooter hands he comes with two uh, he comes with a set of fisted hands and he comes with a set of I like to call articulated hands or expressional hands and you also get a set of his venom power hands here which is pretty cool again um, you know same articulation abilities a lot of points of uh, articulation one gripe though like I mentioned before the costume should be a lot shinier um, again another figure I might I might try to spray um, to give it some added to um, to elevate it aesthetically and the final the black and gold spider-man suit I have to say out of the lot I'd say the black and gold is probably detail wise the the worst out of the lot um, you know the gold the gold detailing and the red detailing on his arms very I want to say they just look very crude some areas you know the paint doesn't look too full looks rather like a thin coating of paint um, even on the gold trimming here you know you can you can kind of see through the gold almost and, and see the the underlying black base of the uh, the plastic mold so not really a good application of uh, red and gold detailing as far as the paint goes so I would say out of the lot probably the black and gold probably the cheaper of the lot this might reflect the the price on the resellers market on places on marketplaces like Amazon or eBay um, where I see in general they go for twenty two ninety nine at Target the Marvel Legends figures so for the spider-man figure the integrated suit you're looking on Amazon or eBay if you can't find it at Target which I gotta say it took me three separate visits to get each of these figures so you know I just happened to come across each of these figures on three separate visits and I you know I've uh, accumulated a lot of them you know over the course of a few weeks um, so you know first one I got was the game reverse figures then the integrated suit and then the black suit the black and gold suit figure $22.99 at Target if you can find it. Um, Amazon or eBay, you're looking at, I, I saw a listing on eBay, a recent listing, you're looking at about $32. Um, so almost $10 more than retail on eBay, so not too bad, but also, like I said, the quality of this figure is the uh, is the least out of all the figures, out of all the three Spider-Man figures I showed you. Um, if I didn't mention before, the, the black and gold suit, it comes with the left armadillo leg, and it also comes with an extra set of web shooter hands. The integrated suit figure, I've seen it on, I see it on eBay for anywhere between $40 to $50. Also on Amazon, you're looking at like $45 for the integrated suit figure. So almost double retail. For the integrated suit if you don't find it off the target shelves and for your miles morales figure you're looking at about 38 to 40 bucks on ebay and amazon so um that's if you can't find it off the target shelf um you know with all these figures if you're not getting them off the shelf from you know maybe target maybe walgreens gamestop walmart you're always looking to pay almost double uh, retail price so maybe at your local comic store and this all depends on the figure you're looking usually at a a fifty to a hundred percent markup at your local comic store ebay amazon things like that on average though you know i see these figures they're always going for like almost double so you're looking at an average of forty bucks usually um, if you're looking at a one of the more popular figures 
That's not to mention one of the rare figures, you know, because I've been looking for a uh, Moon Knight, a Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight figure, or say a Black Knight figure. Um, and those are particularly hot right now, I'm going to have to say, because of the upcoming movies. And then the Eternals, you had the little mention of the Black Knight at the end of the credits. Um, so these. Those figures are going six at you know for sixty plus dollars. Even I've seen upwards of you know a hundred, a hundred and twenty bucks for some of these figures, uh, and uh, you know it's kind of you know they they get up there. So I notice if you're persistent, uh, you know depending on how bad you like these figures or you know how bad you want these figures or how much you like them, you know if you go enough to your local retailer um, and they have the figure recently has been released you tend to luck out you know you you'll find a stray one on the shelf if you go enough um, and like I said you always want to go middle of the week early in the morning um, so you know persistence is a virtue especially when it comes to toy collecting so take my word for it if you, if you keep on going you know usually it'll pay off if not there's always the reseller market so uh, you know, one way or another, they're always available. It's just a matter of how much you're willing to pay for it, or how bad you, you know, how much work you are looking to put into taking a look for these figures. Um, but there you have it. You know, I'll, I'll stand them all up side by side so you can take a look at them. These are the Spider-Man Marvel Legends figures from Hasbro. This one, in particular, Black Suit Spider-Man Symbiote from 2013. These are more recent ones from Hasbro. These two are from the movie. This one is from the latest uh, Miles Morales video game. Thanks for watching everyone. This was the Raging Geek. Hope you enjoyed this video. Come again soon. Take care.